Hi, everybody. Uh, you're very welcome today. We're talking to Nicola, who most people will know. Nicola, for those small number of people who don't know, maybe introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name's Nicola. I'm the National Office Coordinator for CGI. I'm a volunteer leader in Wexford, and I'm also the health promoter for CGI. And that's what we're here to talk about today. So um, one of the things that I think is when we were doing research around recruitment and retention and um, what we wanted to talk about this year was one of the areas that you had worked on very closely was on the National Youth Health Programme. Um, maybe tell us a little bit about what that involves and then why you decided it was so important that we went for it. Okay. Well, back in 2013, the National Health Youth Health Programme, which is part of the NYCI, they developed um, a framework called the Health Quality Mark. Now, if we go back a number of years, there are a group of guiders within CGI who've done a lot of work towards what was called at the time the Q mark, now called the health quality mark. But unfortunately, the person sort of leading out on that left the organisation. So the work was done, but there was we needed to bring it forward and get the health quality mark over the line. So at the time, um, I was approached by the board and we just felt that I was in a good position to take this on because there's a lot of work to do with policies and procedures to start with in setting this up. So I was able to pull those together and we put in place a health promotion team, which consists of Eileen McCarthy in the Southwest region, Barbara Ryan in the Southeast region and Terry Baker in the Eastern region. And you had to do some training before we even applied for this, right? Yeah, there's a course called the Specialist Certificate in Youth um, Health Promotion which is run by the NYCI in conjunction with NUI Galway. And it's a year-long course, so I did that in 2018 and graduated then from NUI Galway. Right. There's actually a follow-up course, which I did last year, which is um, the same special certificate in youth mental health promotion. So oh, it's a follow-up to that. Yeah, Very good, which is really relevant at the moment. So you decided to go for gold from the offset, right, which is very brave um, <laughs> and obviously the training you had done like helped prep for that so there's 12 criteria for the gold there's mm -hmm. um eight for silver four for bronze so obviously the gold is pretty full-on tell me about the decision to do that and then like what's involved i know there's lots of different criteria okay so i did see i see jai were in a really sort of not a unique position but in a very good position and everything we do can be linked back to health promotion whether it's we're outdoors with the girls whether it's your weekly meeting and bringing people together which is good for their mental health good for their social skills so when we started actually going down through the criteria did a sort of you know big spreadsheet and started ticking off what we already had in place what we needed to put in place and then just things that we needed to tweak. We were really sort of nearly there. And um, it's funny because when the lady came in to actually assess us, she looked at our annual report videos that Owen puts together every year. And she said, I can just see by what you're doing, you've got the award. It was just really a case of being systematic and putting it into a procedure that they could actually see that we had everything in place. And it covers everyone in CGI as a whole organization approach. So it's from every Signal Virgin guide, ranger, all the leaders, the staff, absolutely everyone. So we had to put sort of training plans in place for the staff. They were interested in looking at the training and how we train our leaders, all the different training courses that are available. So it really is, I can't express that enough, a whole organisation approach. It's not Nicola's got this award, it's everyone's award. Very good. And from your perspective, and obviously the board had been looking at this for a while, why do you think it was so important that that we get this endorsement? Yeah, I think it's because something is, it was recognition for what we're all already doing. There's a lot of talk of people, you know, about health and well-being and a lot over the last sort of 10 years since the framework was introduced. We do a lot of work on the National Quality Standards Framework with the department and it was basically tying everything together. It was tying our work together, all the outcomes, all the principles and just saying to people, look, we can stand over this mark. We are an organisation. We put the health and well-being of our members and our staff forefront. And it's an excellent organisation to be part of. Where can people find information about, I know you talked about a resource bank earlier. Okay. So um, what we decided to do when we started off for the award, we were collecting sort of literature in paper format. And we've put all that now up on OGM. 
So if people go to the guider section and go into national resources, you'll see lots of different um, resources there that you can use for weekly meetings and different ideas on health and well-being. And we'd always encourage people if they've got something, if they've come up with a programme or ideas, send it in to us and we'll add it to the resource bank. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Um, thanks a million, Nicola. Great to talk to you about such an incredible no work for the whole organisation. Thank you so much. Thanks, Darcy.